the higher i should good morning mm-hmm. so last time i discussed with you right uh, so in all the data sets it has to show min and max date same ha uh-huh. so for that one uh, they are updating the uh, they are manually updating the files actually uh, they are uh, uh, there is other team they are replacing that uh, hyper files actually whenever they are replacing the uh, hyper files with a new file uh, so the uh, data source filter is removed from that one actually Ooh. okay but even though i tried in the i tried as a normal filter uh, at that time uh, it it's work fine but uh, what is the issue uh, then it is showing the min date only uh, for all the data set for the reference data set which i took the which i created the parameter for that particular data set on that one it is showing min and max date but for other data sets it is showing the min date only in place of max date also no it should not somewhere there is a mistake that is happening because it uh, now when some min date is working why is man date ma- max date does not is not working no because it is taking the current value is there right while uh, creating the parameter in the list values it is taking the min date only uh, at the time of current value even though i uh, i uh, changed it to change min no min and max max parameter i changed the Uh, current value, but whenever the change replaced the uh, with the new hyperfile, it is showing the uh, same current value min, and it is showing the min date only. Uh, if that is the case, so then do one thing, right? Do one thing. Don't make it as a data source filter, but. Now here. when i am adding this filter right here now here don't use don't make this a data source filter but use apply to worksheet all using related data sources or all using this data source then it will work right first thing is you need to show me your two calculation what is your min calculation and what is max calculation and yeah. in the date from which data source you are using that min and max what is the min date and what is the max date i will show you i will share my screen is it okay if you share your screen yeah yeah no issue okay sure so are you it is visible my screen yeah is it yeah so now it is showing the same values uh, as i done according to the uh, your discussion only uh, so i took this is the reference my uh, data set on this one only i created the parameters show the parameter yeah so why are so you getting so many values no you didn't create it right why are you getting no, no. so many no why it is uh, so i uh, i taken this one when workbook opens still, the field job date still, like this why are you I getting so many values in your parameter you should get max date will be only one right where are you getting so many show your open your calculation how did you create your max date dude with i asked you to create an lod right yes 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 i created open that lod okay okay go to go to that why is it showing so many values then so normally the fixed it is show it is not showing so many values no. but when one book opens i selected that one it should that one, it is not showing. it should not see uh, can you drag that max date to the view the calculation yes exact date discrete 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 Yeah. Yeah. Now show parameter max parameter D max D P M. Show parameter. Show the values that it is having. No, somewhere. Can you edit the parameter? 
here when workbook opens yeah can you click on that drop drop down yeah can you go to the extra yeah there why are you taking flyd job date you should take max date right why did you why did we create that calculation one second sorry first we ah, see now you will get only one value then yes it will work okay, okay. normally so when workbook opens uh, <clears throat> i have to even though i will uh, put this option also it is fine right so that no you should put that only because your date keeps changing right you should put that only no other option yeah yeah that's and uh, so <clears throat> when i took data it is as a data source filter uh, it is removing the in the data that source filter when they are replacing that one so then i will took the normal filter as a normal filter yeah normal filter and uh, when uh, in the normal filter when you are saying uh, like uh, uh, share when you are sharing the filter share to all the, the things that are using that data source so then see for every data source create one calculated field order date the date greater than or equal to min date and date greater than less than or equal to max date that but the parameter is the same right same parameter, parameter only same. i have it will to not change it will not change yeah i created that one for every uh... now you have changed it right now work on this and try to get the output right see when you are doing just watch the video guys you have the video in hand right because the point yeah, is yeah. you have, you have to be like the point if you don't do as discussed obviously you will not get down yeah, yeah i will check that one okay do check thank that you. one and let's see if it is that yeah yeah, yeah. thank you thank you